tightly affords a somewhat reasonable way to get started with virtual worlds because you can get a world for $15 a month, which is fairly stable. After you've created an account with Kitely or whatever vendor you use, a fast way to get materials is to go over to Zataru. I just clicked to that. And in Kitely, you're able to upload OARs. Those are complete worlds. And I've gone over, and these are all free. You can use whatever um, materials on here in any way. They were created by Linda Kelly and she's made them available. So I went over in advance and simply downloaded these islands. Let me show you. When you click download, you get an option like this, which shows you how you're going to download. But you can also, before you take the time to download, scroll through the site, and you'll find pictures that show you what's there. And a very important thing is to look at the number of prims, which are the objects that build the island and you'll be able to decide in advance which island you want to download. You can download a bunch of them because you'll see that the islands have materials in them and you'll be able to actually save and repurpose those materials. So after you've gone through the basic setup you would go over to the My World options and I actually have two, one from an earlier time and I want to go to the test serve testing location. And when I go there, I want to manage it. Now I have different files, and of course you want to fill in good description, but for now we'll just go to the files area. And now I want to actually upload an OAR, which in this case would be a world. Later, once you've created your custom worlds, you can export them. For now, though, we're going to upload an OAR, and I would go to Select File, and then I just go to the place on my computer where I had saved the files earlier, and I save them here, and I find the island that I want. Now, you don't have unlimited amount of space, and Kylie, Kitely itself um, is not a very robust server, so when you do make choices, and you can see I've put a lot of these here from before, I had chosen the tropical one because it actually is a rather small file. So whichever one you choose, you would then open it, and I'll cancel since I've already done this, and it will upload. Now the amount of time it takes depends on how big a file you've uploaded. Kitely does not have a viewer. You have to download Impudence or um, Firestorm. I like to use Imprudence because I have more control there. And when I go into the Grid Manager, and I did this earlier, I followed the directions and I created a new uh, grid called Kitely. And I very carefully typed in the login URI. Without that, you won't get to the island. And I clicked Apply or OK. Um, but now that I'm already there, I would simply log in at this point. Uh, Linda Kelly's work is lovely, and you'll see here that she has created this Tiki Island. And as I've said at other times, creating a decent terraforming is very hard to do. So I appreciate this island. But she's also given us permission to use any of these materials. So let me right-click this particular building and if I click edit and over here I'll find that I have 244 prims used but this becomes a building that I can use on another island if I were to import something else so if I right click on this building I can either take it and will disappear or I'll click more and I might just choose to take a copy and it puts it into my inventory now, if you go under Inventory, you'll see that the Tropical House did just come here. One thing you want to keep in mind, though, with Kitely, they only allow you a thousand inventory items. But it's a good idea to go around to these buildings and items that were created by Linda and capture things to save in your inventory, because maybe you'll want to use one of her other islands, but bring over the Tiki House. And she has a lot of beautiful things on this island. Now, working with Linda's beautiful island has made me 
a little tired and I decided I would just take a rest here. And you can see I have an animation that's letting me build a sandcastle. You would continue to take things, repurpose them, bring them to other islands to create a really beautiful effect very quickly.